all right everyone so today i'm going to be talking about my 15 minutes with olawale ailara the ceo of landway real estate i can remember like two years ago when i was having a discussion with a friend of mine he told me i can remember very very vividly he told me to go check out olawale ailara on instagram that is a smart, successful businessman. If you're an entrepreneur and you've not heard of Olawale Ailara before, just rush down to Google and search for his name, Olawale Ailara. You definitely get different links talking about him. You even definitely see him on Wikipedia. One of the things that stand him out as an entrepreneur, which made me fall in love with him instantly, was the YouTube video I watched where I saw crazy guts. And Ever since then, I've been following him actively. Another thing that stands him out is his innovative mindset and the fact that he takes crazy risks. And this crazy risk has been what has been able to like take him so far in the business world. I've been trying to, uh, since I've been admiring him in 2018, I've been trying to reach out to him since 2018. And interestingly, 2020, that's two years different, I was, I was able to meet with him and we spent um, some time together. In 2018, let's just say 2018, I still, um, I, I, I was beginning to start my entrepreneurial journey and I really did not know so much about like how you can get to reach with rich people. Like I did not understand this networking, networking thing as an entrepreneur, but I will say now that I understand perfectly how to network as an entrepreneur that you can network strategically and it will take you to, uh, it will take you to places where on a normal day, if you're trying to like wiggle your way, your way around, you will not be able to get to. So I DM'd him on IG and I was like, oh, sir, I want you to mentor me and stuff like that. Thing is, nobody has time to mentor people in this um, age that we are. Everybody's like busy with their ambitions. Uh, if he had not been seeing my post or he had not been noticing me prior to now, if I had not been doing this strategic commenting of a thing, I don't think you can just message somebody randomly and the person will just like say, okay, fine, come over and some other things like that. I have used this strategic commenting at different points in time and it has helped me in my entrepreneurial journey. In, um, I've used it on LinkedIn, I've used it on Facebook, I've used it on so many other platforms and I've taught a couple of persons about it too and they've also, uh, to be honest, I've taught several persons about it and they've come back to testify, like to tell me that it worked and it is something that I'm, at, I'm going to also teach in the future. Yeah, so my meeting with Olawale Ailara was a very, very successful one and I was able to learn a lot of things that changed my mentality about the world of entrepreneurship just with the few minutes I spent with him, which you would also be privileged to learn from it in this same video. So I started by introducing myself and I was like saying a lot of other things. Then he caught me short and asked me, do you want to make money as an entrepreneur? And like, I smiled. Then I said, definitely. Like one of the goals of entrepreneurship is to make money. Like you make money to be able to run sustainable businesses. There is no way you can run sustainable businesses if money is not coming out. So he told me specifically, that one of the best ways to make money in entrepreneurship is to sell what people buy. Now, it's not like I have not heard this before, or it's not like I have not read this in books before, but to be very, very honest with you, ever since I, he told me that thing, my mindset towards all the approaches I have been taking have been way different, and I'm going to tell you what I, what, what I mean by this. Sell what people buy sell what people need I, I think he just did a simple mathematics of like demand and supply which i had not really been paying attention to what do people need that they are desperate enough to pay money for go find where you can get that thing and sell it and if you cannot lay your hands on it look for ways to ensure that you can get your hands on it like that's been street smart that's been business smart he teaches in several business school and he's somebody that if he would give me such a piece of advice and with the old testimonies like obvious um successes that he has been having for his company the innovative structures he has been putting it is something definitely i would want to follow 
and let me tell you since i have i, I returned back to abj i've been thinking about several other ways to like structure out how to make money from my business and um we talked about other things as well he, he talked about if you want to make more money mm -hmm, this if you want to make more money sell more of what you want to sell like look for where you can get whatever people want in bulk and he mentioned some industries where if you will pivot your business into you'll be making more money he talked about agriculture he talked about um clothing he talked about agriculture he talked about clothing he talked about um production there are some things that you know it's one thing to say you're offering value and it's another thing to convert your value to money but these industries which you mentioned if they, they were like seven but um i cannot really remember them i can remember agriculture i can remember clothing i also think housing too is part of it like some basic human needs things that human cannot survive without if you want to make money as an entrepreneur just go into those industries and when he told me that i was trying to assimilate it but now i'm beginning to understand it very well i'm already acting on this and i'm already seeing a lot of like changes and obvious different um, obvious results in what i've been trying to do he told me another specific thing go and do research if you're an entrepreneur and you've not spent hours on research you're not going anywhere you just like start something and then you want to push it into the market to scale without doing proper research it's not going to scale. so he told me like i should go spend hours to have grounded information on the products or whatever i want to sell and he specifically specifically told me to sell products that people pay for products so after my meeting with him i had to spend one more day in lagos before i flew back to abuja i and ever since i arrived i have been acting on every other thing he, he, he told me then before i left he gave me this book the book he has, i also saw this book on his ig handle i i remember he has also made a post about it and lots of people have been buying it then he handed this book over to me and uh, although i'm not done with this book yet do you know what the book is you can see it also and you can see his face this is his face here so if you're an entrepreneur and you really want to learn how to build a scalable business in nigeria and africa that definitely expand to the world i would suggest i will implore that you go read this book there are some basic things that i are very important that i have read there's this part where um i think chapter six location of your business although when i started reading it it cemented some mindset that i, that I had some discoveries i've been making about if your business is in the wrong location there is no how you can do it there is no way on heaven or on earth that you can do it if your business is in the wrong location it's definitely not going to scale it's not going to succeed he explained simply in very very simple language on what you need to do beginning with your vision how to position yourself as an entrepreneur and some other things you need to do so i would suggest that you go online type about type hustle on google you'll find different links on where you can purchase the book and you purchase it and read it so for those who have been asking me how i got to meet with him well you've seen it you've heard about my experience with him and i would say i owe my meeting with him to networking you cannot over um you cannot underplay the place of networking as an entrepreneur it is very very important especially if you do not come from a rich home you need to network your way to success you need to network your way to where people are influential that you can leverage on and if you're still figuring how to network as an entrepreneur i am going to be holding a class on networking very very soon where you'll be able to learn the basics of networking from how to simply put out yourself and build a personality for yourself because networking is not just you're trying to like go take photos with people it starts simply from what personality do you want to put out depending on the type of people you want to reach so i'm going to be making a course on that that i am very very sure would be of help to you from building personality to how you can cold email people that you are not able to reach on a normal day and i am so so sure that at the end of the course you will see so much of difference in your entrepreneurial journey